Does God care how bold you are? Does he care if you walk through life with your head down or if you walk through trying to take every mountain? Well, let's find out in today's scripture. 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 13. Paul writing to the people in Corinth, uh, particularly a group of believers um, and he's he's about to give them some some encouraging words, but a little bit of tough love at the same time. He says this: First Corinthians chapter sixteen, verse thirteen. I'm reading out of my handy dandy camo Bible here. There we go. Um, <laughs> that I love so much. Um, it says this: Be on guard. Stand firm in the faith. Be courageous. Be men or be strong and do everything with love. Be on guard. Stand firm in the faith. Be courageous. Be strong and do everything with love. Wow, how dynamic. Lord God, bless your word and us hearing it right now. Be on guard. That means, hey, the world isn't always easy and the enemy, the devil is swift. So be on guard. Don't let him pull you into a relationship you don't belong in, into a family or a group that you don't belong in. Don't have him in a, somewhere where you're telling bad jokes or listening to, to dirty jokes. Be on guard. The enemy's been around for millions of years. We've been around for less than a thousand. For most of us, less than a hundred. So let's not get pulled in by the craftiness of the enemy. And it says, stand firm in the faith. We talk about the devil trying to steal our faith. Once he steals our faith, he can get us to turn to things that make us miserable. He can steal our joy, our peace, most importantly, our God from us. Because we won't believe, we won't follow God anymore. He's not physically stealing God, he's stealing our faith. Or we're giving up our faith to him. He can't steal it, but we can just stop believing and stop following God. And still believe, which is probably worse in a way. To believe in Jesus, believe in God, and not even follow him, not give our lives to him. So if you hadn't text uh, faith to the number that's going on the screen now or that's going to be on the screen at the end of the video, and make sure that you're right with God and that you're following him. So be on guard. Stand firm in the faith. Be courageous. Now, this is the Bible. And one thing I like about the Bible is if God says it, then it, that, that's what it is. That's what we should be doing. And God won't tell us to do something that's impossible. There's a scripture that says, hey, with, with, you know, humans, it's impossible. Or humanly speaking, as the scripture says, it's impossible. But with God, all things are possible. Or the impossible is possible with the Lord. So you may not feel courageous. You may not think that you're courageous. You may, may think that all of your bones are bendable and that you're, you don't have a spine or that you're, you, just not, you don't have the strength to be courageous. But you have to understand when God says, be courageous, then he's giving you a command to be courageous. He's saying that you are stronger than you think you are. That you are built for this. That you are better than you think you are. You're made for this. He's telling you courageousness is in your DNA. So be it. Be courageous. It's in your DNA. Why not be courageous when you're made to be courageous? Why not be an overcomer when overcoming is in your DNA? You're an overcomer by nature. It's in you. He made you that way. And who knows better what's in you than the God that made you? He says, be courageous. Be strong. Because you are strong and do everything with love. Listen, I love you. More importantly, God loves you. Now, hopefully this message blessed you. And if someone shared this with you, forwarded this to you, uh, then and you want to receive these messages on your own, text the word prayer to the number on the screen. If you don't know if you're saved or not, like I said earlier, make sure you have a place in heaven. Text the word faith to the number on the screen. If you want to walk, well, let me not let me go back to that. Let me not glaze over that. If you don't know that if you died right now, if you worry that you're not secure in God and that if you died, you would go to heaven. Text the word faith. 
let me I wanted to emphasize that I didn't want to just glaze over that if you want to walk through us on our daily Bible studies text the word rooted to the number on the screen and if you suffer from drug abuse or addiction or anxiety or suicidal thoughts or depression uh, or anything along those lines and you want to be free from it text the word freedom to the number on the screen and lastly if you want to stand with EBC and our mission to advance the gospel of Jesus Christ and to hold off those dark forces that want to stop the gospel of Jesus from going forward, then text the word GIVE to the number on your screen. Whatever you give helps, whether it's a dollar, whether it's a million, it doesn't matter. Every dollar you give is a dollar we can use to press the gospel forward. It matters. It matters to us. It matters to God. So anything you give, if you're able to give, makes a difference. Once again, I love you. More importantly, God loves you. See you in the next one.